So apparently in light of Normie's not understanding how open source software works and packaging and so on, and some package maintainers being package maintainers, DuckStation is no longer under an open source license. DuckStation is a well-known PlayStation emulator and has been under a GPL license for a little bit. Let's see. Was open source under the GPL, then on September 1st it changed to Polyform Strict license, and then again on September 13th changed over to Creative Commons, oh, basically non-commercial, non-derivative license. So let's see. Need to attribute, no commercial uses, no derivatives. And then you can redistribute it otherwise. So the code is no longer free, in essence, and people are of course, talking about forking it to use the code before the open source li license was removed. So you can still do that because that old code would be licensed under such a license. No one else is allowed to package it up either as their change mentioned packaging is still not permitted since it is effectively a modified derived work. So this is kind of more of an issue with packagers package maintainers um i'm well aware of how so this is from the duck station developer again this is kind of the, the thing when you've got one person working on a project you get all kinds of complaints and it can be hard to deal with those complaints especially when it's something that has nothing to do with you and people that are using a derivative work that has been modified downstream is expecting you to know what to do with it when they have no idea what these people downstream did. So I'm well aware of how licenses work. That's why I changed to make it very clear and a deterrent due to certain parties violating the old license. By not attributing and stripping my copyright, packagers being collateral damage was a beneficial side effect considering they don't clearly mark their versions as modified, also GPL requirement break functionality and expect upstream to provide support. So package maintainers can be very bad about following certain protocol because under licensing, there are certain legal implications to doing things the way you do. So I don't necessarily know if Arch does it per se, but you will often see in like Arch packages, if I were to search for something here you can see that i've got like this dash two meaning it's like the second release of this particular version of the package we've got dash one dash one so sometimes they go through and repackage things in certain distros and you can see like what repackage revision it is that it goes through I have the approval of prior contributors, and if I did somehow miss you, then please advise me so I can rewrite that code. I didn't spend several weekends rewriting various parts for no reason. I do not have nor want a CLA because I do not agree with taking away contributors' copyright. Also, I do not, don't not appreciate the threats. If you're not a copyright holder, then you are not in a position to make any demands. I find it especially ironic considering when the GPL was actually violated on multiple occasions, even as recently as a few months ago, nobody ever takes issue with that. So the GPL does not remove copyright. It does say that you can der make derivative works, but you can't take any copyrighted stuff. That's why every Firefox fork removes Firefox branding. Because under certain stipulations, you have to remove all the branding and copyright stuff, and you can't step on the toes of another copyright, even under the GPL. I've restricted the repository to prior contributors, so like you can still own the name for something, and no one else can remove that copyright. So if you're removing certain copyright things from stuff, you should be packaging it as is with all the included information, licensing, and so on, rather than just stripping it all away and then packaging it is what it is. 
restricted the repository to prior contributors, and if they have any concerns, they are more than welcome to do so here. If this turns into harassment, then I'll just shut the whole thing down, because I'm way too busy with my actual job to be dealing with unsubstantiated drama from a hobby that is supposed to be fun. Please consider how the community would benefit from that. So you've got issues of people wanting support, complaining, moaning, and things like that, and this is a hobby project. Source available or whatever chosen ways to describe code you can view but has restrictions on it. So it's a source available project per se, but the fact of the matter is, is that it's no longer considered open source. And as a hobby project, when you are griping and moaning at someone, let's go look at, do we have, yes, we do. Okay. Can we see the it here? Fast PlayStation 1 emulator, PSX, do, do, do. Let's say Mac OS, Android, building, building, user directories, Qt front end, default bindings. Okay, so if we look at the license, we can see it's attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives license. Let's see, latest rolling release. See, there's no issues tab on the repo. So the, it comes, to, some people can be really, really moany about not getting support on something that is literally not getting any financial support. So default bindings, disclaimers. Let's see, we have the right attribution for PlayStation, PSX, Sony, whatever. So there's no way to support the project financially. So literally this is a hobby project, basically a passion project. And sometimes you have people that are so self-important that they will ask for support and be like, hey, I can't do this. It's like, I didn't, put the package together. I'm not the one to work with it. So you're on your own. And these people get so self-important that it's like, well, it's your software. It's like, no, it's not. It's a downstream derivative that I had nothing to do with the packaging on it. In fact, they violated many licenses that supposedly they support, like the GPL. So DuckStation, no longer open source. You can technically go back through the commits probably and be like okay at what point does it not license under so september 1st would have been the prior one where it relicensed so we're at two weeks ago September 3rd, 1st. Do we not have a re new applied license? I don't think we do. Ungpl our code. I don't see it. But yeah, this is a problem you can run into with open source licenses is that sometimes either A, someone doesn't know what they're doing, or they're just expecting to get support because, well, it's the thing that, the thing that, thing that, open source thing thing. And so now, let's see. Yeah, issue tracker gone. Let's see. And things like that. So if we go through quality of life changes to breakpoints, um, update, translation to Brazilian, Chef's Love Shack, Russian translation, Discord RPC support, full screen UI, okay, so these are all quite a bit ago. There aren't any, like, pull requests well all the issues are closed because there's no issues anymore to worry about 
But yeah, you get the idea. It's kind of this thing where you started to like dog on someone so hard that it's like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. And even then, like App Image and Flatpak, in a lot of cases, I found that these are some, can be some, it makes it easier on package maintain or developers when they're working with a common environment that doesn't constantly change. And I can understand that. And I can understand someone wanting to use their own native packages and not use an app image or flat pack or some sort of containerized thing to run another VM on top of their already running system. The problem you run into is when a developer clearly says, hey, if you use anything outside of these constraints, don't expect support from me at all. And then people still expect that support. It's like, no, this is closed. Once you, if it's your hobby project and you start running off of with it and nobody's listening to you, then we start to run into problems with, I don't want to deal with this anymore, so I'm going to pull these things down so that we don't have this happen anymore. So it makes sense why it happens. It's kind of sad to see another project go. Let's not ruin it for any other future projects. If you liked the content, if you enjoyed it, if you think I deserve it, like, comment, subscribe leave any criticisms you have or what have you. I appreciate it. Feed that algorithm, like I said, and I will see you guys in the next one.